Hello, and welcome back to History Videos for Kids. Today, we are going to be talking about the American Revolution. The very large English Empire was growing. During the Seven Years' War, the English, who you will now call the British, spent a very large sum of money to defend the American colonies. After the war was over, the British thought that it was time the Americans paid them back. The King's ministers and Parliament decided to write some new tax laws. These new laws were called Acts. The first law that took place was the Sugar Act. The poor Americans had to pay extra money for sugar unless the sugar had come from the British ports. The Americans were so mad about the Sugar Act, they hated it. Not too long after the Sugar Act was passed, a new act came into place. This was the Stamp Act. This new act forced Americans to pay more money for playing cards, pamphlets, newspapers, and dice. This new law only angered the Americans more. Even when people received a diploma, they had to pay money to get it stamped so that it would be official. While the Americans were becoming broke, the extra money they were paying went to Britain. More and more acts were passed. Americans had to provide room and board for British soldiers when they came to the North. Acts were passed on paper, glass, paint, and tea. The Americans grew angrier and angrier as each new act was passed. Americans argued about these acts at their general assemblies. A general assembly is pretty much just a big meeting. One particular assembly had one very angry American. His name was Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry declared that the British law said that British citizens would not be forced to pay taxes unless their representative approved of the particular law. Sadly though, there were no Americans in Parliament, so the American colonies unfortunately had no representatives. Many Americans cried out in unison, no taxation without representation. Finally, the newest king, George III, agreed to take away a few of the X, but his repeal on taxes didn't go as good as he had hoped. Parliament demanded that the Act for Tea remain. The Americans were outraged. In 1770, during the month of March, some fellow Americans started throwing snowballs at the strongly disliked soldiers. One soldier demanded that his troops fire, and five unarmed people were killed and several more were wounded. This very sad event was given the name the Boston Massacre. This was the first of many fights. People no longer wanted to buy the tea. They just started drinking coffee. The British governor demanded that ships carrying tea should be allowed to unload and sell their tea. The Americans were not going to put up with this. One of the most memorable things that ever took place in history happened in the year of 1773 on December 16th. Sixty men dressed up like Indians and went to the ships that held tea and threw almost 350 boxes of tea into the harbor. This was called the Boston Tea Party. In 1774, the first Continental Congress gathered in Philadelphia. Can you guess who was there? If you said George Washington, you would be correct. They made a petition stating that they wanted the British soldiers to leave, that the port be reopened, and that all the laws would be repealed. They warned the King of Britain that the colonies would no longer follow rules created without their participation. The Americans had a feeling that this petition would start a war, so they started gathering weapons, ammunition, and gunpowder. The Americans guessed correctly, and the British prepared for war. 
The British knew that the Americans were preparing for war. They saw young people called Minutemen practice with their weapons outside. They were called Minutemen because they would be ready to perform military duty any moment. Washington became a general. The Americans and the British fought for several years. Finally, on the 4th of July, 1776, the 13 colonies declared their independence from Britain. The war was not over though. In 1778, the French joined forces with the Americans. Spain and Holland also joined the war. With the help of the American allies, America became its own country in 1783. We celebrate America's birthday on the 4th of July. It is a very exciting day. In July, America will be about 243 years old. Well, that wraps up our presentation on the American Revolution. We hope you enjoyed this skit. See you next time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.